hi everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to show you guys how i created these really cute airbrush and early 2000s nail art so i will be doing the jollix dupe method for this set so i started off by pushing back her cuticles and now i'm just lightly removing the shine off of her natural nails I'm using a 180 grit sanding band and my Melody Susie Scarlet Gel to do this. I have it at the lowest speed I can get it. You want to make sure you use very light pressure when doing this and you do not want to over file as that will damage the nail. I will be using the BT Art Box Extra Log Square Full Cover Nails and I'm just going to be removing the shine from the inside of the nail, that way the nail sticks better. You don't necessarily have to do this but I feel like it does help the nail stick and last a lot longer. I've been getting a lot of questions about if you have to use like a specific type of full cover nail and the answer is no, you can use any type of full cover nail. Now I'm going to clean off her nails with the Young Nail Swipe. Now I'm going to dehydrate her nails with the JCPD Concepts Dehydrator. This is just going to get rid of any oil that may still be left on the nail plate. Now I'm going to prime her nails with the Not Polish Triple X Bond Primer. This is going to help your nails last a lot longer. It's just going to help get the product stick a lot better. So you want to make sure you do not skip this step if you want your nails to last. So now I'm going to be using the Beatles Nail Glue Gel. I'm going to be applying a thin coat onto your natural nail. I'm not going to cure it yet. I'm going to apply some onto the full cover now, and I apply some more towards the cuticle area since when I apply it onto the nail, I start from the cuticle area and then it just spreads nice and evenly throughout the nail like that. I feel like that helps prevent getting air bubbles. And I cure it with a little lamp for about 15 seconds. I'm thinking of buying the little lamps that you clamp onto your desk. I feel like that would make this a lot easier and it would definitely help prevent getting air bubbles also because I have to like move my finger out of the way and sometimes that creates air bubbles. So yeah, I think I'm going to get that. But also I want to let you guys know that I'm not a professional. I am just a DIYer so everything that I've learned, I've just learned from watching videos and stuff so i'm just showing you guys what works for me her nails usually last like a month or over a month so yeah um by the way this is my sister that i'm doing so yeah i only do my sister's nails and my mom's so now i'm just cutting down her nails to her desired length she wanted like a medium long length and now i'm taking a 100 grit nail file from panna and i'm just shaping up her nails she did want them a little bit more tapered so that's what i'm doing i don't really have any like good tips for shaping to be honest i just try to hold the nail file as straight as i can and then like i don't know like sort of like angled it a little bit so that it gets a little bit tapered but it's still straight i don't really know what i'm doing to be honest i just do you guys get what i mean Now I'm taking my Panna 5-in-1 drill bit in a fine grit and I'm just going around the cuticle area to seal that in. I'm just trying to make that part nice and flush. That way it doesn't look like it's like a press on or anything like that. And also if you get any like spillage, um, you could easily file that off. And I really like this bit because it does not cut. So I really recommend this one. Now I'm just going to remove the shine off of the nails with a little buffer. I believe this one is a 180 grit buffer. So I cleaned off her nails off camera and now I'm going to be applying a thin layer of the Beatles base coat. This step, again, is not necessary but I do feel like it helps the gel polish last a lot longer and also it adds a little bit more strength to the nail. Um, so if you're using like a flimsy full cover nail, I do recommend you guys to put some base coat or even like a thin layer of builder gel. 
So I did cure that for 60 seconds and now I'm going to be applying a thin layer also of the Vanalisa gel polish in pink nude or nude pink. Um, and then I will cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Honestly, you do not have to do this step for this design. I was going to do something different, so that's why I applied this gel polish. But you can't even tell it's there, so I would skip this part. Um, now I'm going to be applying this polish here. It's super pretty. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the brand, but it is in the number 141. And I'm just going to be applying one coat of this, and then I'm going to cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds. So this is the airbrush machine that I'm going to be using. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the brand, but I did get it off of Amazon and I will have a link down below. So I'm going to be using the Beatles Gel Polish in 721 and I'm just going to put some of that into a little dampen dish and then I'm going to mix it with some alcohol. And once I have it all nice and mixed, I will be pouring that into the little airbrush thingy. I don't know what you call it. So before I do spray it onto the nail, I do test it out on my paper towel just to make sure that it is working. And now I'm just going to be applying it onto the nail. I hold it a couple inches away from the nail and then I get sprayed. I did have it on the second mode. So yeah, once I was done spraying, I did go in with a cleanup brush and some acetone and I just cleaned up um, any gel that got on the skin or anything. And then I cured it for like 30 seconds in the UV lamp and then I went in with my second coat. Now I'm going to use this Beatles gel polish in lemon tonic and I'm just going to be mixing this the exact same way I did with the pink gel polish. And I'm just going to be spraying this on two different parts of the nails. And again, I will be doing two coats of this. Now I'm going to use this Beatles gel polish in 884 and my Hello Cute liner brush from Nails by Dev and I'm just going to create some little lines on each nail. This part is the 2000s inspired nail art. It's super easy to achieve and it's super cute so if you haven't tried it, you should definitely give it a try. I'm going to use the McCart white gel polish and a little dotting tool and I'm just going to make some little dots around the lines. Now I'm going to be applying some charms and some rhinestones and I'm going to use the Zule bling adhesive to adhere them. I'm going to use this little star charm which I got off of Shein and also this little planet charm that I also got from Shein. I will have them linked down below. I'm also going to be applying some clear little rhinestones on each of the nails. Now I'm going to top coat the nails with the Beatles gel top coat and then I will cure them in the lamp for 60 seconds. So that'll be it for today's video. I really loved how the nails turned out. I think they're super cute and super fun. I just really love them. I think these are probably my favorite nails I've ever done to be honest. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about them down in the comments. 
don't forget that i will have everything that i used in this video linked in the description so if you guys are interested in anything you guys can just check out the description box but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed please consider subscribing if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next one